Section 3.1 is on radian measure. So we've been mostly dealing in degrees to this point, and so we want to talk about radian measure. And the first thing we need to look at is the definition of a radian. So if we go right here, an angle with its vertex at the center of a circle that intercepts an arc. So here's the circle, here's the vertex. This arc here, this R, that's equal in length to the radius of the circle has a measure of one radian. So the radius of this circle is this much here. Whoops. And then the arc in length is the same as that radius. If that's the case, then the theta here has a measure of one radian. That's by definition. So if you look at 30 degrees, that's a 30 degree angle but 30 radians, it started here and went in concentric circles around 30, that's 30 radians. So you see they're totally different as far as what you're looking at in size. Now, we need to know two things, how to change degrees to radians and how to change radians into degrees. To go from degrees to radians, you multiply by pi over 180. To go the other way, it's 180 over pi. 180 degrees equals pi radian. So let's go further and look at this chart. This is our basic uh, angles that we've been using and our quadrantal angles that are at the um, intersecting line. So here's our zero, here's 90, 180, 270, and there's a 360. And then in this first quadrant, we have 45, 30, and 60. So those are the main ones in this chart. Now, the degrees are in this column. And exact, when they ask for exact, they do not want degrees. Exact has radians, has pi in the answer. So if we multiply 30 degrees, remember up here, changing degrees to radians, if we multiply 30 times pi over 180, 30 goes into 180 six times, so that becomes pi over six. That's what's actually happening there. So let's go back to the chart. Pi over six, and you can just figure, 30 goes into 180 six times, 45 goes into 180 four times, 60 goes in three times. 90 goes in two times, 180 goes in one time. 270 is one and a half times 180, and 360 is two times 180. So that's, that's where that comes from. All right, means we're gonna begin to look at what's called the unit circle. The unit circle is our circle whose radius is equal to one, all right? And so when you break it apart, you have 30, 45, 60, 90. So you also have over here the same idea. And we're going to go further into that in another, uh, another section. But just to get an idea, this is the unit circle. And on this particular piece, we have everything in degrees in blue and radians in red. All right. Let's go down here. All right, so I think that's it for the lecture notes right now. Like I said, we're just getting started. So let's go look at our problem set. All right, 360 equals how many radians? We just looked at that chart. It's 2 pi. And 180 degrees equals pi radians. So there's the two answers for that. Remember that you're talking about multiplying by pi over 180. And you can get that. You could look at back at that chart as well. All right. To convert to radians, multiply a degree measure by pi over 180. We made that choice. To convert to degrees, it's multiply a radian measure by 180 over pi. So it's the opposite. All right. And then we're just going to practice doing it now. You could just look at your chart for 270, but I did these over here so that you see what's going on. So take the degree measure and multiply by pi over 180, which means you're going to do some canceling out. 
90 goes into both of these, goes in 3 there, goes in 2 there, so 3 pi over 2. For 240, 60 will go into both of those. It'll go 4 times and 3 times, so we have 4 pi over 3. Negative 120, 60 will go into both of those, so we have negative 2 and 3, so it's negative 2 pi over 3. And then for 675, if you, let me move down, 675 and 180 is there, so 45 will go into both of those. 45 goes in 15 times here and 4, so it's 15 pi over 4. Oops. So now we're con doing the same thing over here and 74.8 so it's a little different if you um, oh here's the 1410 degrees that's one just like the ones we just did and we um, figured out what would go in there and 30 will go into this 4710 so you just have to figure out what will go into both 180 and that number let's get down to the degree the decimal ones so 74.8 74.8 over 1 times pi over 180. So what you can do is just multiply this top, and, and your pi is going to be in your answer, but 74.8 divided by 180 gets this, 0. 0.415555, whatever. Then you multiply that by pi. Use your pi key on your calculator, and you get the answer. It does say round to the thousandth, so that's three places. For 69.97, same thing. You're going to divide by the 180 and then multiply by pi. For the 56 degrees 30 minutes, what I did was I said, okay, I know 30 minutes is half of a degree. So I did 56.5 divided by 180 and then times pi. So that's how we'll do those. The value of sine 3 theta is not 1 half. Why is that true? Well, sine, oh, it's not 3 theta. Sine 30 means, now, here's what we have to note. When they say it like that, sine 30, if it does not have that degree sign, then it's in radians. And so, in the expression, 30 means 30 radians. The value of sine 30 degrees is 1 half, while the value of sine 30 is negative 0 0.9880. So if you do not see the degree symbol, you have to assume that it is in radians. Find the exact value of tan pi over 4. So one thing that you can do Pi over 4 is 45 degrees, so sometimes I will just draw the triangle. Remember 45, 45, and that's a 1, 1, and a square root of 2? Well, tan is 1 over 1 because it's opposite over adjacent, so your answer would be 1. For 14, let's get over here. Through how many radians will the hour hand on a clock rotate in A, 13 hours, and B, 6 hours? Well, we're talking about uh, 13 hours. How many minutes is that? How many times around? 13 times 60 is 780 minutes, so we want to convert that. 780 over 1 times pi over 180. 30 will go into that 6, 30 will go into that 26, and then uh, 2 will go into 6 is 3, 2 goes into that 13 pi. So I did a little bit to reduce it. How about for 6 hours? 6 times 60 is 360 minutes. We do the same thing, 360 over 1 times pi over 180, and 180 goes into both of those. So once and twice, so it ends up being 2 pi. Okay, so that should be a fairly simple section. Hopefully um, that will do for that one.